Hello and welcome to the tutorial. Today I would like to share a technique about how to recreate this transformer transformation transition effect in Cinema 4D without any third-party plugins. So let's get started. So I already have a basic cube in my scene. It's just a uh, site uh, the size of 200 units per site and a subdivision of 10 segments and also added a little uh, rounded edge here a fillet a round fillet here with just uh, one centimeter so the first thing we have to add is um, the explosion of x deformer uh, we need this uh, deformer to uh, create pieces out of our cube. And once it's applied to our cube, um, we have this mass here, and so we have to adjust some settings in our uh, in our uh, deformer to make it work properly. So first of all, the time is set to 100%, then the gravity is down to zero. And also, let's have a look. The strength is down to 0 or 0.1. The blast time. Okay. The blast range have to be increased like... Let's use 20,000 for now. I think uh, 20,000 is good. Thickness down to 0. Density. Cluster type should be automatic and also the poly count here. We can leave it as it is for now, but we can change it later on. So, and make it just invisible. So now we have created some chunks uh, out of our cube. We can't see them at the moment, but we're now going to use the MoGraph fracture object. Put our cube inside change the object mode to explode segments and now we're going to work with a couple of effectors to make the effect work so in the first effector we have to use is a simple plane effector just make sure it's added to the list here go to your effector and set uh, set the scale down to minus one in a uniform way. Go to the fall off and set it to linear. And I'm going to use the minus x value. So if I now move my move my um, plane effector through the cube, it will uh, reveal the pieces of my my cube and you can see it's sh it's uh, shattered by the uh, explosion of X effect so that's the first thing we need and um, let's go ahead and rename it set it scale and let's make um, some adjustments here I always like to work with some Spline functionalities here selected so I'm in the fall of here. Select those types and set it to easy e so it, that will make uh, the animation a bit smoother. Uh, so let's duplicate this um, this plane effector, but now we're going to use not the scale but the rotation. We're only going to rotate the heading about 90 degrees. So this is rotation number one. Oops, sorry. Uh, number rotation heading H. And we have to uh, offset this effector to the left side of our scale. A scale effector. Let's so let's bring it over so that it that it fits right here. So it's minus two hundred. 
So I'll make sure it's part of our list here. And we now grab both of our effectors and move them through the scene. You can see what's going on here. So first we have uh, the scale and then we have the rotation. And that's the principle that we're going to extend to a couple uh, a couple of effectors and that will make the effect work in the end. So let's place all of our effectors here on the right side so that they're sitting right next to you, next to my my cube actually is here right over there no uh, okay we can fix that later it's not so important at the moment uh, the next effector we are going to use is, um, is a uh, random effector and we're going to offset the position a bit. Random effector. Go to the effector properties and just change the X, uh, the X position. Random X. Make sure it's part of our list. It is already. Also have to change the fall off to a negative X. Also add this spline here. Just select it, spline, easy ease, like this. Now let's move that over till it sits right next to our rotation um, uh, rotation um, effector so it's a bit hard to figure that one out Let's just replace them so everything is in its right order so on this one is over at minus 400 then so then we now grab our effectors here and put them into a, a a null object. So let's group them with alt group at or alt G. If we now move our group, let's zoom in a bit. Uh, if we zoom in a bit, you have we have you know, scaling, a bit of rotation, and then everything is moving into place finally so that's so that's the first set of effectors but we're just going to uh, extend it by making copies of our effectors here just like so, we have copy for the rotation. We're going to change the rotation from heading to pitch. So it's P. Uh, we're going to change the rota uh, random offset of our position to the Y axis. Let's say 50 units for that. And now we're going to offset them. So our last effector sits right at minus 400, at minus 200. So this one has to be at minus 400, and this one at minus minus 600. Yeah, it's looking good. So let's move the null object once again to see what's going on. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we have I've forgotten to add the last two factors to my list here. So let's bring them in. And let's move the null object once again. So scaling up rotation. Yeah. Moving. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah, yeah. 
Okay, that's not too bad. Okay, cool. Um, seems to work. And now let's make a last copy of our effectors here. Like so. Uh, we have to let's rotate the banking or the bank. So let's. Oops. Sorry. Let's change this. It's zero and ninety. Uh, we have to offset this that position. Like so. Um, just move them into the right place. So it's minus 800, I guess. Yeah. And minus 1000. Like so. Yeah, it's looking good. Um, so let's move our null object once again. It's scaling up rotating it's moving rotating moving once again and still I forgot to add my last effectors to the list right okay so let's move the null object once again so it's scaling rotating moving yeah Cool, that's what I want. So let's um, add a keyframe here for my null object. Over here, let's go to, let's say, 130 frames. And let's push it through. Like so, maybe. Cool. Just shorten the timeline a bit. And let's have a preview. It's not looking too bad, isn't it? And now you can make some changes to the object if you want. For example, you can set a different number for the pieces of your cube. So you have bigger chunks here. I like to have 10. You can also go to the cluster settings of the explosion effects and Say you would like to have A to 15 uh, pulleys here. So this way you can change the appearance of the effect. And one last thing to add on top of uh, on top of it um, is if you use a you can use a random effector just to uh, offset. Um, or uh, you know just to offset the distribution of the pieces it's hard to explain for me but um you will see what i mean so let's make a new random effector and we're not going to use any of the parameters but we're going to use the weight transform just bring that up to 100 percent or close to 100 percent and now we're going to drop it into a list here, but we have to put it on the top of our hierarchy. Now you see, we have we have uh, you know randomized the distribution here. I don't know if it's the right term, but you see what I mean. If I switch it off, it's uh, the edge of the effect is more even, and if you just add this effector with the random weight. Oh, wait, you can influence the uh, distribution here, and you can also add the uh, random seed here and change change the look by by it. Yeah. So now the uh, fracture object is kind of flat. So um, we can go ahead and use the close close nerves here. Put it in there and give the cloth cloth nerves a thickness of minus five, for example, or even more, minus ten should work as well. 
Yeah, it's pretty, pretty cool, isn't it? All right, so uh, we have to move our null object a bit further. Right, over here. And also over here. Now it should work. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Maybe I will have some problems on my on my pole is here because my cloth nut is too thick. Let's go for minus five. That looks much better. And also, I would recommend you to use a low fong angle here, like two or five or something like that. Because uh, you may have issues with your texture later on and some issues with the texture could be avoided by using a connect object. Just put everything into a connect object So that's basically what I did to recreate um, this transformer effect. So I hope it's useful for you and you can apply it to your piece of animation and you can of course use it with a more complex shape. Have fun with it, see you soon, bye bye.